What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Tahita Hawkins here. Guys, for today's product review, I will be covering the Eat Meaty Crispy Cutlet. So without further ado, you guys, let's get on into this, okay? Overall, the breading was dynamite. Like that was slam dunk good, like the saving grace. But I felt like the flavor of the meat itself was, it reminded me of like when you're cooking your mushrooms down and not all of the water has fully come out of the mushroom. Like that was the vibe I got when I when I took the first, second, third bite. I was like, uh, should I have cooked this? longer than they recommended like this isn't really working for me not totally on bland island but not that far away that texture totally different ball game okay the feel of the inside of it was awesome these bad boys actually come in at 8.99 between me you and the light pole i feel like if the taste was way better i would be more comfortable at that price point of 8.99 but with this kind of taste i'm gonna need them to cut it <laughs> location wise though you can find these guys right at sprouts or whole foods so there's two different methods that they recommend so you could definitely throw these guys in the air fryer preheat it to 400 if it's frozen it's going to take you about 10 to 12 minutes if it's thawed out however it'll take you six to eight minutes to cook the other option is you could throw these in the oven preheat it at 375 and similarly if it's thawed 22 minutes and if it's frozen 35 minutes guys from my experience i really wanted to keep it super simple i had such a busy week so i said you know what we're gonna cut up some tomatoes and some cucumbers throw some adobo some olive oil give them suckers a toss and set them alongside these cutlets and see what it's hitting for. As I said in the taste section, it didn't totally do it for me. So like after I think the first cutlet, I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm just set the other one in the fridge, <laughs> which sometimes equates to like eventually getting tossed and I just threw it away not too long ago. But anyway, y'all, that was my experience, all right? So my journey on this product review series, if you've checked out other videos, thank you so much for the viewership, I appreciate you. But what I'm, I'm realizing on a personal level is outside of putting you guys on game i'm realizing i really want to get away from the products that have like a bajillion ingredients that i do not know anything about unless i'm googling right and i kind of like to get into products where it stems directly from a jackfruit or in this case the mushroom root right like i really dig that because i feel like it's, it's slightly healthier so for that reason i'm definitely rooting for this product and i hope that even though i didn't love it this go round, maybe they go back to the, the chopping block and try something else. Because if they did, I would try it again. You know what I mean? Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed.